everyone, I am so excited to show you guys my very first hair tutorial on my new channel. So to get started, I'm going to first explain my hair type and the curling irons that I use on my hair. My hair is long and fine. It is one length with no layers in it, and I have a little bit of framing just around the sides. The curling irons that I use, I'm going to go ahead and list them down below in the description box, and I'm going to list the prices as well. I also am going to use a coupon code down below that I found on Elle Fowler on her beauty channel. It was the Numi wand. I would never pay almost $200 for a curling iron, but she had a still of a deal a couple months ago and I got my curling wand for like $40. And so I'm gonna be using that today, but I'll have everything listed down below. And if you guys don't have the money and you have a curling iron at home, but you wanna do the curling wand effect, I've taken my Hot Tools curling irons and I've taken the, the latch off of it. Like I've unscrewed the little latch, so that way it is just a curling wand. So if you don't want to spend the money, you don't have the money, you can also do this to any curling iron that you have at home. To get started, before you curl your hair, ever before you curl your hair, you really should use heat protectant. Since I worked into the salon, a lot of times I people would want to grow their hair out and the first thing I would ask is, are you protecting your hair? And most often than not, people would say they are not using a heat protectant. And I always use the analogy of you would never put a hot iron on your skin because it would burn your skin. So you would never want to use a hot iron on your hair because it's going to do the same thing. It's going to burn your hair. So my favorite heat protectant is the Argon Oil Heat Protectant. I just got this from one of my beauty supply stores. I know that you can find this at Sally's as well. The reason why it's my favorite is because it has no alcohol in it. Next up before I curl my hair, I've got some postpartum hair going on. My hair is very flat, very dry. I'm trying not to tease it as much. So I like to use dry shampoo on my hair. This is nice, clean hair. I just washed it about 20 minutes ago and then I blew dry it with a blow dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my dry shampoo in. That way it just gives a little bit of lift up at the top. So to get started, I am going to section my hair off. Because my hair is fine, I just need to section it off one time. I start about from the eyebrows and I just go straight back and section the whole, the whole head up. And I'm just going to take this all and put it into a clip. Now that I have my section out, I am going to take the back part and just take it right in the middle. And I'm gonna bring everything forward. When I curl my hair, I don't really look into a mirror behind my head because I just curl everything in front and then I put it back behind. So now that all my hair is into two sections, I'm gonna get started on this side. I'm gonna start in the back and just take like an inch or so section. And because my hair is long, I've noticed that if I curl my hair really tight, I don't like it. It gets too frizzy and frilly no matter what products I use. And I like a little bit softer curls. Underneath all this hair, I'm gonna leave on just a tad bit longer and I'm gonna do a little bit more curls. I start with a couple inches from my head and I just wrap this all around. And then I try and leave that last little inch so that it's not being curled because I don't want to damage my ends any more than they already are. And then I take my hair, whatever I got curled, and I'm just going to put it right behind me. This is the last section in the front. You can see how fine that my sides are. They grab curl really fast. So with the side section, I don't go as high because I just want it to be nice and loose in the front. So in the front, I'm just gonna go from the bottom of the ear and just do a couple little curls rather than going from straight at the top. And I only hold it for like a second. So it's just a nice little curl. section I took all the hair and I just left it behind I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna comb it out I'm just gonna let it sit I'm gonna take out this top section now and I am gonna part it right down kind of the middle how I did that other side so I've got two more sections and I'm gonna get it in front of me and do the same thing so same thing I'm gonna start in the back I'm gonna take a section a couple inch section and I'm gonna curl this 
but I do like the back to be a little bit curlier than the front. So again, even though this is the top section, I'm gonna try and get this to be just a little bit curlier. And how to get it a little curlier is I just leave it on just a tad bit longer and I wrap my hair around the curling iron several more times rather than just like one or two, one or two of these, I do like the whole section. Now that I'm into the front section of my hair, everything from the ear forward, this hair tends to get a lot more curlier than normal, so I'm just gonna take it in two sections and curl this one and this one. So I'm gonna start just around where my chin is, down below, and I'm just gonna curl this bottom piece. Not too hard yet, huh? Does this seem pretty easy? Again, this section, I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. This is the last section that I'm doing. It's just for my ears forward. This little sad little hair, like all this seems to get a lot more curlier than I like. So again, just starting a little bit lower around under the chin and just doing a couple hairs rather than the whole section. Okay, I have all my hair done. I threw it all to the back and just let it be. So now that everything's kind of cooled off, I let it sit for just a couple minutes. I like to use one last product which is the Bedhead After Party. It's a cream product and it just helps soften my curls and helps control the frizz. So I'm just gonna put a little bit into my hand and I just like to wiggle it through the curls and kind of scrunch up the curls a little bit just so that it softens it a little bit. So what I usually do with the rest of it is I just take a couple sections up at the top of my hair, and I don't tease a whole lot, like you probably wouldn't even have to, but just enough to give it just some sort of lift. Same with this, like my bang area, what I do, instead of like touching it and putting heat on it, I'll just tease it with the rest of the side of my hair, and then I'll just blend it back into the sides. And then you, you would never even know, like you would have thought that I fixed my bangs. Like I just brush it to the side and then I let the curls be it and now that is it. That is how I curl my hair. I take a little bit of hairspray. I'm not gonna put hairspray in here just cause I have expensive equipment, but I just mist my hair with hairspray, kind of fluff it up and then you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to thumbs up so that I know that you guys like it. And I will see you guys soon with a foundation tutorial coming up. Bye.